How's my hair? I can't tell from the monitor. Does it look all right? See, you get it. You get what I'm worried about. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and I am at Sweetwater's Gear Fest. I'm at the Supro slash D'Angelico slash Pigtronics booth. Did I leave anyone out? No. That was it. I got all of them. Uh, I'm going to check out... This mic is an interesting situation, isn't it? Is it? I turn my head and it's in my nose. Uh, I'm going to check out the new Royale amp. It doesn't come with cheese, but I'm going to make that joke a lot, referencing Pulp Fiction over and over again, and the people who haven't watched it are going to think it's a lame joke, and the people who have watched it will know it's a lame joke. So <laughs> I'm going to check out the amp, and I'm also going to check out the Star Eater Fuzz. I actually checked out both these things yesterday, and I was like, yeah, I want to film both of these because these are fun. I have the um, I have the the ah, the Delta King 15 at home. That's right, the Delta King. I have the Delta King 10, but it's 15 watts. No, <laughs> I have a Delta King. A fifth. The number 15 is associated somehow. It's not a 15-inch speaker. It's a 12-inch speaker. I think it's 15 watts. It might be 10 watts. The details are a little bit foggy right now, but I saw this. It's like, oh, that looks pretty. I want to check that out. And then I looked at the top, and I was like, it's got two knobs for reverb, so I definitely have to check it out. It's got a level and a and a dwell. I don't have an overhead shot here, so maybe I'll have to pull up a, a product shot from the internet and have little arrows pointing at what I'm talking about. Let's go through the controls. We've got a master. Not we've got the pre volume. We've got a boost circuit, which is off right now. We have uh, three little switches a boost circuit, a verb circuit, circuit, and the loop circuit for the effects loop. Then we have our treble, mid, bass, level again, that's for the reverb, and dwell for the reverb, and then your master volume. And then you have a switch that goes in between class A, standby, standby, and class A and B. And then you have your power switch. I haven't even looked at the back. I'm not even gonna try to figure out everything that's in the back right now. I'm sure there's stuff going on. But I just want to play around with it. I'm already really familiar with the form and the functionality of my Supro amp. And I actually use that amp a lot at home. It's not living on my set for filming demos right now. But it lives kind of like in a family room area at my house. And it probably is the amp I use around the house the most these days because it just sounds great. It's easy to dial in. Really great drive sounds at, you know house levels that my family won't be upset about and it looks cool it looks like a cool piece of furniture and this is no different so i thought it would be fun to check it out have i talked enough let's get to the playing right <laughs> Might be a little bit hot on the recorder here, so we'll dial that down. I mean, already it's in the neighborhood that I like to live in. And I'm using a D'Angelico guitar here, the Premier uh, Bedford, the Premier Bedford. Didn't want to mess up the name, so I thought I would check. I'm on the bridge position. So let's get straight to the stuff that I want to check out. You know I want to check out. Let's hit that reverb. It's already on a little bit. But I want to dial in some of that drippy stuff. Now, my, my Delta King 15, the reverb on it is pretty soft, pretty conservative. It doesn't get into drips and stuff. But this one does, and that's why I'm excited about it. So I'm turning up the level right now. The dwell is really low right now. When I turn up the dwell, 
that's where it's going to get drippy. I've got the level at about 3 o'clock right now. And the dwell was at about like 9 o'clock. There it is at noon. Yeah, there's 3 o'clock. There's all the way up right about 5 o'clock. Spooky. It's pretty over the top right now, but the fact that it can find that drip sound is exciting to me. It's not like fully a traditional surf sounding amp or reverb in a few different ways, but there's plenty of people out there that play in non-traditional surf sorts of, ta sorts of tones that might be getting excited about this right now. Honestly, like, right about there sounds pretty sweet to me. So that is with the level and the dwell right about noon. So double noon on those. And it's still quite a bit of reverb. Let's try the neck pickup. Like it. It's not that traditional, like, kind of fendery, drippy style reverb uh, that I typically chase. It's more of a, it's like a warm, big, kind of like cavernous, soulful kind of reverb. But the fact that you can dial it in in a bunch of different ways with those two knobs, and I'm not even going to spend the time to really, really explore it right now. Let's try the dwell up pretty far and the level down. There we go, that's like a fun little kind of bright splash. What do you guys think about that? I'm telling you what I think, I wanna know what you think. Uh, let's dial in some drive tones. I'm gonna do that by pumping up the pre-volume. It was at about 11.30. And I'll pull down the master to tame the volume just so I'm not annoying everyone else that's around here. Oh, so that's with the pre-volume all the way up right now. I don't have the boost circuit on. I'll pull back the reverb quite a bit. Blake walking by. So that's kind of an edge of breakup, saturated sort of sound. I switched down to the bridge pickup now. Yeah, it's crispier on the bridge pickup.
for my personal taste, like with amps, that's right about like where I consider where I stop dialing in amp drive for the most part. I don't usually use dirty amps, but that kind of crunchy, saturated sort of sound words is where I typically live when I'm dialing in a dirty amp. And then I use pedals to get me the rest of the way. <laughs> I like that. I like that drive sound quite a bit. It's a really nice even saturation, but with a good amount of like loose crunchy grit to it. to the neck pickup. All right, let's try the boost circuit now and see how dirty it can get, because I know it can get a lot dirtier than that. There we go. has an edge of fuzz thing going on. Neck pickup. Oh, I lost the script there. You know what? This is a jazz booth. That's jazz, right? You play the Angelicos, you're going to play jazz every now and then, and that's just what I'm doing. I'm not trying to insult jazz. I'm just, I'm making a joke about how bad I'm playing. <laughs> I actually like listening to jazz. I very rarely attempt to play it. Sometimes I fake it a little bit. Here, we'll roll back the tone all the way. Jazzing? I don't know. Yeah, that's right. My impersonation of jazz is rolling the tone all the way off and randomly noodling. <laughs> <laughs> this is what editing is for. All right. So it's not like a gain monster or anything like that, but I like how it gets saturated. I'm gonna dial in a cleaner sound now and check out this fuzz pedal. Do we think that'll take fuzz fairly decently? We'll find out. I want it cleaner. All right, so the Star Eater Fuzz, Eater of Stars. Oh wow, it's really stuck up here. We got like Velcro or glue or, do you like nail it down? There we go. Oh, we 
got an octave thing happening on the higher frets. <laughs> is over there nodding like, yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's the sort of stuff I like. <laughs> I lost it. So there are three knobs here. There is a sweep, a volume, and a hunger knob for because it's a star eater. It's got to be hungry. There is a cool like light blue rocker switch situation going on here. I like this hardware, the purple knobs and the blue switches. So this is for voice. You got silicon on the left and germanium on the right. And then for the contour, which has a second switch, you've got bump and scoop. So I'm assuming a mid bump. Depending on the position of the sweep knob, is a mid bump or maybe a treble bump or a bass bump. Okay, so it has a full range of tone that you could bump with the contour. That is interesting. <laughs> have the gain all the way up. You always start with a fuzz with the gain all the way up. That's the rules. And then you break off the knob. All right, let's check out the germanium side. always prefer a silicon fuzz to a germanium and right now it's the same i prefer silicon i haven't changed my mind i like the nasty kind of hollow grindy sound of a silicon fuzz their germanium sounds fine it sounds fun some people prefer that i don't it's got more mid quality to it it's a little bit more uh like full sounding in a way a little softer maybe you find your own adjectives. Drop your adjectives for the germanium in the comment section. Yeah, silicon just sounds a bit more raw to me. this contour thing because it's off right now the moment I turn this on it's gonna be in the scoop position so it'll scoop whatever tone frequency I select with the contour and the other side of the switch will bump it so this is our scooping situation
the bump now. nonsense <laughs> I'm impressed like this feels like more of what I already love about the Delta King that I already have I love the reverb on there uh, the boost is really cool it doesn't get crazy high gain but I don't either when I play with amps you know uh, I think it's got a really fun warm soul to it i like the game character of it it's the same as like with the delta king i love the way it feels and sounds uh it's great for low volume house jamming and stuff like this they, this thing probably kicks quite a bit harder than the delta king does what's the wattage on this so 50 watts class, class ab or 30 watts class 35 watts class A. Look up the stats. I'll have a link. I didn't even get into the class AB. Maybe I should do that real quick and we'll play out with that. So let's dial in a gritty sound again. So here's the class A. And here is the class AB. Back to class A. Class AB. It feels a bit tighter and brighter on the Class AB where there's feels like there's more warmth maybe on the Class A. Would you agree? Yeah, tighter bottom end on the Class AB. Tighter bottom end on the Class AB. More mid-range on the Class A. I agree with that. Those are those are ways to describe the way I tried to fumble describing it. <laughs> Oh, I did it. This was, you guys know what I'm talking about. So that was a class A, here is the class AB. Probably the reverb's a bit rich there for most people. But you know what I like. Back to class A. Class AB. 
Which one do you prefer? I think I'm a class A boy. But it's always good to have options and you never know which one's actually gonna fit in your mix when you're playing with your band or recording or whatever. Uh, playing alone, you know, the tones you pick are always gonna be different than in an, in an actual situation. But I think playing alone Class A is where I'd probably live. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's a fun amp. I like that fuzz quite a bit too. A lot of versatility across that tone control with the cut, the boost, contour, and you can turn that on and off for a secondary option. The fact that it gets into like that high octave squealing stuff on the higher frets is a lot of fun. It's cool. I had a great time playing with it yesterday, and so that's why I decided to film it today, and I think I made the right decision. Uh, it's always interesting filming at things like this. I'm not in my home environment. I'm flying by the seat of my pants, and I get what I get, but I can tell by the pixels right now, looking into the future, that you guys like this video, and you thought it was a good video. So, you know, do what you do when you watch videos. Like, subscribe, dislike, leave me rude and nasty comments. Support us on Patreon. Uh, click the hashtag for GearFest. Go check out all the other videos that everyone else is making and publishing. I, like always, anytime I do one of these events, I have such an amazing time just hanging out with everyone. Not just the other YouTubers, because you know I love those people, but the brands and the Sweetwater people and everyone else involved. It's a big old love fest around here, and we love hanging out with each other and chatting and hugging and kissing and spreading all kinds of infectious diseases. It's a good time. <laughs> all right. Bye, everyone. Stay grounded.